Shalom, beloved family. It's your girl, Sophia Spiritualite, and we're here for our daily prayer and reading. Of course, we meet every day at that moor and Sassor. We say a prayer, we read a psalm, and then we do a three-card pull just to see what messages we can get from the Most High and from the angels. All praise, all glory, and all honor go to the Most High, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the great I Am, loving kindness, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David, Enoch, Moses, Noah, and Solomon. We thank you for allowing us to labor in the vineyard another day. We ask for permission to speak with the angels for just a few moments so that we can get a message that will help us be of better service to you and to the kingdom. When we enter herein with all humility, let God the Almighty One enter into this place by the entrance of an eternal happiness, of a divine prosperity, of a perfect joy, of an abundant charity, and of an eternal salutation. Let all the demons fly from this place, especially those who are opposed unto this work. And let the angels of peace assist and protect this place, from which let discord and strife fly and depart. Magnify and extend upon us, O Lord, thy most holy name, and bless our conversation and our assembly. Sanctify, O Lord our God, our humble entry herein, thou the blessed and holy one of the eternal ages. Selah. To the Holy Spirit, to the Holy Mother, thank you for being with us. Thank you for guiding us. Thank you for walking with us down the path of life. O Divine Mother, illumine me with divine wisdom. Vivify me with divine life and purify me with divine love, that in all I think and say and do, I may be more and more that child. We acknowledge our older, wiser brother, Yahweh Shai, and the perfect example he set of how to both climb the tree of life and conquer the tree of death. And to the angels, to our personal guardian angels, to the archangels, to the council of nine, to the council of twelve, to the council of twenty-four, to the twenty-four elders, to the forty-two letter name of the Most High, to the seventy-two letter name of the Most High, to the council of a hundred and forty-four thousand, to the two hundred and sixteen angels that sit atop the tree of life, to the entire administration of angels and to all the angels whose names we know and the ones whose names we do not know we ask for you to come and be with us in just a moment and give us a message that will allow us to be of better service to the most high and to the kingdom and let's read psalm 51 i mean um 16 psalm 16 my bad preserve me O god for in thee do i put my trust O my soul, thou hast said unto the Lord, Thou art my Lord, my goodness extendeth not to thee, but to the saints that are in the earth, and to the excellent, in whom is all my delight. Their sorrow shall be multiplied that hasten after another God. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my lot. The lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who hath given me counsel. My reins also instruct me in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad. My glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Selah. All right. So I don't know why I did this again, but we're in the wrong scene and everything. Good Lord. Okay, here we go. We have our Rhoda Mundy deck. Actually, this is correct. And, of course, this is our night deck. It's a Kabbalah heavy deck, so it's a little bit weird, um, you know, when you're first trying to use it, but it does get easier, um, you know, with use. And that's about the best that I can give you. <laughs> so we have our cards here. All praise, all glory, and all honor go to the Most High, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the great I am, loving kindness, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We ask for permission to speak with the angels for just a few moments so that we can get some messages that will give us um, information on uh, how to better be of service to you and to the kingdom. We thank the Holy Mother for always being with us. We acknowledge our older, wiser brother, Yahweh Shai, and of course to the angels whom we've already called in. We ask that you um, give us a message that's clear 
that's easy for us to understand, that's easy for us to apply, that um, will allow us to uh, be of better service to the Most High and to the kingdom. And when you fulfill the covenant, of course, we will let the Most High know so that you are given some credit. We are doing our best at becoming better clients, and we thank you for all of the hard work that you've done and uh, we are sincerely grateful for your dedication to us and to the kingdom. All right. Uh, all that shuffling. Two of Pentacles. We just got this. Not yesterday, but... Uh, actually, we got the four and the three on Lavana, a Shabbatai. Yeah, we got, uh, no, 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 uh, yeah, Shabbatai. We got the four and the three. So now we've got the two, and this is how you can go through all the separate with just one hand. And then we've got this again. If you guys have not read it, it's very, very important. <laughs> Matthew chapter 25 through 28. This is the page of pentacles. Very important to read this. Very, very, very important. Um, and our last card is the five of cups, which is fermentation. The reason why you need to have that, if you can read it, read it tonight, is you need to let it ferment in your system. That 25 through 28, it need, you, you got you to gotta think on that for a little bit. It's not something you can read and understand in its entirety right away. It's, it's a very complicated chapter. So the Page of Pentacles, let's see. Page represents news on the whole, but beyond that, there's ability to save money for a goal or like save energy so you can get through the whole set. Oh, let me show you the pictures. There you go. Oh, fake zoom. So you can get through, you can stop on the whole, every point on this, well, almost every, you can go through the whole tree of life without having to um, lift your pencil. That's what this is representing. All right. So this card shows the ability to turn an interest into a money-making career through diligent application of energy and effort. The power of youthful vision adds energy to this new project and may indicate a new lifestyle or identity being assumed. Financial independence is brought about by developing a new talent or skill to realize the potential earnings from this. This may also be a card of scholarship, the student and associated finances. So this correlates with turning interest into career diligence and work and study. You know, we have to be very diligent in this work. We can't, you can't pick up the most high, pick up the spirit and put it down. That's why I like, the, like on Shabbat time when I was like, you know, I was able to do a reading on Lanava for Noga and have what was supposed to come in to be on Noga actually happened to me. So while I was watching the video of myself from Lavana, you know, saying the words of the spirit that had actually just happened to me on the night. Well, it was the deck night on the night of the deck. I mean, that is that, that takes diligence to be able to, um, not only do that kind of stuff, but to be able to recognize it because a lot of us, you know, we're doing stuff, but we, we don't have the foresight to recognize it, to recognize what we're doing. And so you spend a lot of time working, but you feel like you're not getting any results. Well, you don't know how to perceive the results. And that's a whole nother set of things. You know, that comes along with the mindset as well. Um, one of the brothers calls it human design. I'm getting heavily into that. Um, because I think we need, we, we, in order to understand, we are made in the image of God. So in order to understand your celestial body, you sure better understand your physical body. You know, you can't, you can't skip steps. And so there's a lot of people 
They've got pieces, but they don't have a cohesive. I mean, the most high can give it to you. Let me say that the most high can give it to you directly, like your cohesive view. So I'm not saying what the most high can and cannot do. But most of us who are seekers, we have bits and pieces, but we don't have the cohesive view. We're, we're very, we don't know what questions to ask. And so when you don't know what questions to ask, it's very difficult to figure out what the cohesion is, right? So, all right, let's, oh, that's the page of pentacles. That's the second one. I went out of order. Let's go back to the two of pentacles. My bad. Lord. The two of pentacles. That's the first card. <laughs> this card usually depicts a person balancing two discs, indicating the ability to balance finances as well as learning a new skill. So the whole thing about pentacles is money. So the more pentacles you see, the more you know money is uh, in the past, in the present, and, um, you know, you have your cup turned up to, re to, to reap it in the future. And this reminds me, remember, everything that you sow in September is going to bear fruit in June. So if you do not sow something in September, I'm so glad we're fasting because, I was, like I said, I was going to fast anyway. But, yeah, if you're not sowing in September, you ain't going to be reaping in June. I mean, you will, you could reap, I'm not going to say that, but if you want to reap, um, what's the term that I want to use? If you want to reap with a purpose, you want to sow your seeds in September. So what does that mean? You could get a bag full of seeds from somewhere, throw them out in the field. You will have a bag full of seeds. Everybody has something, right? One talent. You will have a bag full of seeds and you will throw them out into the field in September and you will reap something in June. However, with the foresight of knowledge to know that what you reap in June will be um, planted in September, you can reap a field full of sunflowers. You can reap some sunflowers in one row, some cabbage, some this and some that. Or you can just, whatever's in the bag, you'll just take whatever it is you get. And that's one way to live, but I don't recommend it because you never can be sure of what you're going to get. It's like, um, what is that, Skittles? You know, you got a rainbow there, but what exactly is the rainbow? Is, is it a good rainbow? Is it a bad rainbow? Is it, what's in that rainbow there? You know, like you want to know what you're, if you want to know what you're going to get, you have to sew it. And that's coming up, all right? This may be a card of apprenticeship, learning from a master or other professional, or it could simply show the need to live within a budget depending on the surrounding cards. As a card of practicing dexterity, this might mean a new job or promotion requiring specialized training, or it could show the difficulty of working two jobs. The energy is with this energy is directed with determination to get something accomplished. And that's where we are right now. We want to get something accomplished. That's, that's the past card. I'm sorry. And then we have the page, which is turning interest into career diligence. So we have the right foundation. Like, we want to get something done. Um, we want to learn new skills. We want to balance, you know. And then we have also the um, diligence to get it done. You know, we have a really good foundation. Let's see what this cups is. Uh, cups. Which is five. All right, the five of cups. This card symbolizes the problem of not knowing where to focus emotions. Usually depicted with three up like cups and two spill cups, the attention is directed at losses suffered rather than the emotional support and the benefits that are still in reserve. The problem here is one of letting go of emotional upset and embracing the emotional strength, but being ignored, looking at the spilled milk, but not the full containers. Fortunately, this is generally a transi transitory time of mourning for something lost with better times to come. There may be some kind of disappointment or hurt feelings around the clearing, but these need to be faced and released. Okay, so basically, here we go. We have a card that says, you know, we have the energy to get something. Then the second card is we have the diligence to get something. And now we have to have the energy and the diligence to ignore what we're leaving behind. Because 
if you again if, if number one this goes this is i guess this is mindset week so if you don't have the right mindset meaning you don't know how to step outside of your 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 thoughts look at your thoughts and cherry pick the ones that you want plus that means you also have to be putting good thoughts into your head you can't just cherry pick the thoughts that you want but you're not putting in anything good because then you'll starve because you have to eat. You know, it's like a buffet for the mind. You have to eat. So you want to put good things on your mind buffet to eat and they're going to come across on a conveyor belt. You know, you have to, you know, you want a balance. You want a balance of good day, good thoughts and bad thoughts so that you have time to eat and enjoy your food. You leave the stuff that you don't want. You can take some stuff that you do want. And so you're eating on a regular basis. You don't have to eat all the time, but you want to have something in there, some good thoughts in there to think of. That would be like, if you're a Bible person, a Bible. If you're a book person, some of the motivational books, some of the more complicated books like The Keys of Enoch or I'm just trying to look at my book collection here. Um, there's a lot of books. I got a lot of books over here I haven't even gotten to. But the idea is you always want to be putting something good in. It's, it's, it's the guy go, garbage in, garbage out. You know, and you're going to take in some garbage. There's no way to not take in garbage information. You have to live in this world, be around the two thirds, observe what's going on. You're going to take in some garbage, but you can, but that same garbage that comes in can go right out without you touching it. You know, you don't have to engage in it. And so what you really want to do is, again, like I said, choose the things you want, that the thoughts that you want coming out of your mind. Ignore the thoughts that you don't want. Just leave them on the conveyor belt and let them go out. But don't focus on them either because sometimes you could be looking at the thoughts going on the conveyor belt. And look at all of those thoughts that I'm leaving there. I mean, those are perfectly legitimate thoughts. Don't those thoughts deserve energy? Absolutely not. You have to be like, Psh. Those are some crazy, I don't know what's going on with those thoughts. Yeah, I'm not choosing those right now. You know, not in an emotional way, but just in an observational way. Like, yeah, that thought's not going to work for me right now. I need to be thinking these kind of thoughts, those kind of thoughts get me off track. So I'm just going to let those go head on. Let me wait for the next good thought. But like I said, a lot of times people will be like, oh my gosh, look at all these thoughts. I don't have any thoughts. Who am I? You know, that's because you haven't done enough studying. You would know who you, listen. If you just get your chart and look at what each planet does and then just try and find it in the sky, your brain doesn't have time to think about anything else If once you have your chart. That's it. Your brain does not have time to think of anything else but your chart. Really. That's why our people always talked about astrology because you can never stop talking about it. You can never stop talking about the planets. There's no way because... There's so much about, I mean, you can't even stop talking about Earth. Like, you you can't even stop observing Earth, you know what I mean? Like, much less stop talking about it. So just think about all these planets that we know about that are in our charts at a certain position, influencing us in certain ways. You can never stop thinking about that stuff. So if you just put that in your brain, that will, that information in your brain, like, I was reading about my uh, my North and South Node, right, and I was like, First, I was like, this book is all only about North and South Node? That's crazy. Then I was like, oh, my goodness. I had no, my North Node's in my first house. It's not an Aries, it's a Scorpio, but the Aries North Node describes me in a way that I never knew. I knew it because I, I experienced it, but it literally basically took my whole life and put it down in this chapter book. And I'm like, wow, this is a shock. So I'm still process. I haven't even gotten to what it said about Scorpio. I'm still processing um, first house. You know what I mean? And so, and then you have a north and a south node. You read the one for the first house and then the one for the opposite and then what each of those signs are. And that's a very you know, complete picture of yourself. And once you read about that type of stuff, you don't have time to be worried about, you know, oh, I'm missing out on all these thoughts in my head. No, no, this is like, and even in this picture, it's like you want to ferment the good stuff and the stuff that is not good, it doesn't make it into the fermentation vessel. And that's how you have to be. The thoughts that you do want, let those thoughts, you know, choose those thoughts. And the thoughts that you don't want, send those out in air bubbles. Like, I mean, I don't know if... 
oh, I don't know how much people know about fermenting, but I am a fermenter. So uh, I've been fermenting for about four or five years. And so, you know, if you have a bubbler, you know what I mean. Like you let that stuff come out like it's coming out the bubbler and you just don't worry about it and it'll take care of itself. You know, it'll dispose of itself because it comes out through the bubbler. But if you are, you know, constantly investigating every thought that you have as a legitimate thought, it, it has nowhere to go, you know. So um, I hope this makes sense for everybody. Let me let y'all look at these cards while I take a sip of water. And we're going to do the blessing of the Sephirot. Come and talk to me. I really want to meet you. Can I talk to you? I really want to love you. All right, let's do the blessing of the Sephirot. Blessed be the light beyond all being. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Keter. Blessed be the breathing of origination. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Chokma. Blessed be eternal wisdom. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Bina. Blessed be omniscient understanding. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Chesed. Blessed be perpetual compassion. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Givora. Blessed be almighty justice. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Tiferet. Blessed be transcendent beauty. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Netzach, blessed be unceasing victory. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Hod, blessed be surpassing glory. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Yesod, blessed be infallible foundation. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Malchut, blessed be all life throughout the kingdom. Forever blessed be the mighty one. All praise, all glory, and all honor go to the Most High, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the great I am loving kindness, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We thank you for allowing us to speak with the angels for just a few moments, and we would like to report back that they have fulfilled the covenant, and we would like that to be noted to their record. We say a big thank you to the earthly mother for always being with us. We um, acknowledge our older, wiser brother, Yahawashai, and the perfect example that he set. And, of course, to the angels, we thank you guys for everything that you do. We have let the Most High know that you have fulfilled the covenant. And we want to say that we are so appreciative of all your hard work and service to us and to the kingdom. Let God be praised in the beginning and the end. Who supplicates him, he will neither despise nor refuse. God above us, God before us, God possessing all things. May the Father of heaven grant us a portion of mercy. Beru Shem Kevod Malchuto Loalam Vayed. Blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom throughout eternity. Ha Rashaman Hu Yashazir Lanu Avodat Biet Ha Migdash Limkoma Bimhira Biyamanu Omen 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 Esela. May the merciful one restore unto us the service of the holy temple to its place speedily and in our days. Amen, 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 Esela. To the spirits who are here with us, you're invited to go in peace. To my beloved viewers, you're invited to be at peace. And always remember, the Most High is your peace. Shalom, everyone. We'll see you for the reading tomorrow morning at the more.